In this video, we are going to be looking at the channel rack or the step sequencer in FL Studio 21. So firstly, we are going to be talking about the parts of the channel rack and what these buttons and knobs do. Then we are going to be talking about how to add notes, how to add one shots like a snare or a kick, how to add plugins or instruments, and then how to move your pattern to the playlist. So make sure you watch this video to the end. We have assigned numbers to each key, knob or button for easier understanding. So if you are new to FL Studio, this would be easier for you to understand. So consider subscribing. Number one here is the channel options menu. This can be used to customize, organize and add order to the channel rack. You can use these to clone or add an instance of an instrument, delete, color, rename and so many other things, make sure to browse around it. Number two here is the looping controls. This is just dedicated to looping settings, whether advanced or basic. Number three is the display filter. This is used to group and set the channel rack to display only specific channels, especially when you have a big project and when the number of channels get bigger. Number four is the global swing button. This activates the swing for all channels. Number five is the pattern length. This is used to set the length of the pattern. When it's set to auto, the pattern will be set by the end of the last bar with data in it. Number six is the graph editor. This is one of the important part of the piano roll. It is used to adjust the per step note, velocity, release, fine pitch, mod X, and shift. Number seven and eight is the pan and volume. Number nine is the channel button. This is used to display the channel name or the instrument's name. Number 10 is the channel selector. When this is lit, it means that the channel is selected. Number 11 is the piano roll preview. This is just like a piano roll shortcut and you can also see the notes in the piano roll without opening it, but you can't edit it. Before we continue, I know that music production basses can be hard for beginners, but I promise it gets better from here. So I just wanna say kudos to you for staying this long in the video. Make sure to keep grinding and also like this video, it helps our channel a lot. Number 12 is the mute or solo button. Number 13 is the step sequencer, probably the reason why people call the channel rack a step sequencer. This is where you add the notes. Number 14 is the mixer track routing. You can send a track to the mixer from here and also vice versa. Number 15 is where you add plugins to channels. And number 16 is the pattern selector. If you have different patterns that you have created, this is where you select them. To resize the channel rack, just drag it from here to your desired size. To add a note, all you need to do is left click and to delete a note, you right click. You can also add notes by clicking on the record button and playing them with your MIDI keyboard or your computer keyboard. To add a one shot, all you need to do is go to the browser, choose the one shot, left click and choose open in new channel. To add an instrument, just click on this plus button and click on the plugin you want. To delete a plugin, a one shot or an instrument, just select it, go to the channel options and click on delete selected. To move your pattern to the playlist where you can arrange them, just go to the playlist at the left side 
you will see something like this. Drag it into your playlist. If you can't see your pattern, just click on this icon and then drag and drop. I hope you got what you were looking for. If you did, please like this video, subscribe, and leave a comment on what you want us to cover next.